Hey, Moshbeard here, back with some more Skylanders Ring of Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite thing right now in this game, double diminished teams. That's right, uh, diminished got a buff with the last patch, I think it was only listed as like a 6% increase, um, but man, it is it is a ton of fun so far I've been having. Um, now that I've got Hex and I've been raising up Crypt King for that double AoE diminish, um, the damage, it seems faster than bombs for me, so I'm having a blast with it. It does PvE, it does PvP. Um, it does everything that I want it to right now. Uh, it's just, it works differently than other dots in, in past games, but it still seems to be fairly effective. Um, so you can see this is um, Tech Dungeon 9. I haven't tried 10 yet, but I did the same thing with uh, Undead Dungeon 9 earlier. Farmed it times 10, no fails. Um, same thing. I do my hex is still only 5 star, even after I'm 80 shards short or something like that. Um, my Crypt King is 6 star, but plus 0, non awakened. Of course, I'm using my uh, Super Shot Stealth Elf for the increase uh, elemental advantage, plus, she does a lot of single target damage just to help out here. But <clears throat> as long as you are landing your diminishes, I mean, it just eats away at people. Like, it's crazy how, how quickly it just starts chunking health away. Um, and I'm going to show it after this run in uh, PvP. So you can see, I took it to like. Uh, was in top 100 at the end of last week, and that's not where I finished, but I'm in top 100 right now. I know the PvP has its own issues right now about where you stand. I know it's like gold for top 100 right now, but um, it's faster than bombs. I have a really high win rate with it. Um, it's just a lot of fun. So we'll do that. We'll show the runes that I currently use. This is the same PvP team that I use. These three units now, and Gulper. So these four units, I rarely switch them out. I'll fight double fire teams with this that have more combat power than me. I do not care. Um, it is really strong. So you can see. Oh, I gotta click because I ended the uh, runs here. Of course, no, uh, no large elixirs, which is what I'm trying to find. So I've got some other units in the works here, but I need large elixirs to get all that working. So let's go. We've got five, five gears. I am currently rank. 255 so I've dropped because it's pretty competitive right now win rate 96 percent my defense is fairly low last week it was like eight percent almost nine percent win rate and it's it's very low so we'll go here this is a standard team you would fight um, boomer stealth off kaboom they are higher than me they've got more combat power than me I do not care so we're first going to go after kaboom and then stealth elves because if she stealths she can remove the stuff before she dies and that can lead to problems but so we queue up <clears throat> Super Shot's first really fast ability. Of course, it glanced. And we missed Diminish on <laughs> uh, on Kaboom. We missed it. So he's going to get his bombs off. But you can see Stealth Elf died. Diminish hit. Boomer and Kaboom both died. Boom. We barely took any. They got one attack off. <clears throat> that was quick. Fast as fast as bombs. Faster than bombs. I like it better. It's like if the bomb misses the one time, you're kind of screwed. There, we were able to use the second diminish. Yes, you could use double bombs, but then you still have to wait the five turns. And All right, double elf, kaboom. This time we're actually going to focus the other stealth elf, the super shot, because she may queue up her fast skill first. We want to try to get her chunked down as much as possible. Hopefully we can go first. Oh, she got her ability off. And we do get the three skills off. You can see Stealth Elf is queued up, and we missed it on <laughs> Kaboom again. Wow. And then Stealth Elf stealth. See, things are just not going our way. But this still shouldn't be a problem. Kaboom down. Let's do that. And we'll just finish off Stealth Elf. There we go. <clears throat> see, even when things aren't going our way, um, Stealth got off. We completely missed Diminish again, even though we're running the accuracy, the effect accuracy leader. That's why I have her as the, I mean, it's the only leader skill I can use, but it's a good reason to have her. Effect accuracy is great. And I'm still missing it, so we get a fresh list. I could go to the bottom. I'm going to go to the top since we're doing this. Um, I'm at 1255, so 1295 should be good. Oh, here's Trait. Trade of Trade Gaming. So if you haven't checked him out, here he is. Let's see. So this should be a tough team because that Astro Blast can go really quick. Robo has a short cooldown. Kaboom has a short cooldown. So we're going to target the Astro Blast first. We can see if we can do this. Because if he gets his uh, nuke off, we could be uh, in for it. And hopefully he doesn't, but you never know. 
So same strategy. Super shot. Oh, and we glance and he gets to go first. That's gonna be trouble. We did survive. We're gonna go with diminishes here. It's gonna oh, not quite. Two down. And three down. See, we did survive his uh Astro Blast and then while everyone was taking their little turns there, we just dropped them all down with Diminish. Down, down, down. Down they go. Uh, I also use this team to farm the uh, Wailing 8. Uh, well, I don't use Super Shot. I use Hex, Crypt King, and either Whirlwind or Deja Vu, depending on who I'm feeling like for the day. Um, Super Stein. This is what we want to fight. This is like a tankier team. And we're not actually going to focus Boomer first. We're going to focus Whirlwind. Um, because the cleanse and the heal and actual ones do a lot of damage. Boomer should die regardless because it's so squishy. So we're going to focus whirlwind. No glance, which is good. The boomer is going to get his... Stay alive, alright. Diminishes up. Everyone's dead. Boomer's dead. And boom, there we go. Quick, easy fights. Easy to climb. As you can see, rank 120 still in silver because of the PvP issues that are currently going on. Please comment to us, fix that. I know they mentioned they were going to have some slow changes to do that, but it needs to be a little faster than slow. But all right, we got one more here. Let's see which one, what the two teams are. Here we go Stormblade to three awakened Nat 5s. Or what's our other choice here? We can go with this other tank team. I don't know what you want you guys to see more. You probably want to see the Nat 5s, so we'll do the Nat 5s. Stormblade, Tri-Tip, Robo. We will focus on the Stormblade, because that AoE damage will chunk us down. And let's see how this goes. Same as before. Queue it up. Drop those dimensions on there. We missed one on Robo. That's who we're going to switch to, I thought. Tri-tip will be dead, so don't matter. Robo's down, and tri-tip's down. Quick, quick, quick fights. Double diminish is my favorite right now. It is so fast. Hey, we're back into gold in the top 100. Woo! -hoo. Man, I remember when that used to get you in master. <sighs> and then we will go ahead, and I will show you my whaling team real quick. I'm trying to get double diminish to work for Wailing 9, I'm very close. Uh, when I max out my Crypt King and 6 star my Hex, I should be able to do it. But, um, as you can tell, we've farmed that. I could try it on one of those other ones too. I haven't tried it on Beast yet. Um, Beast 8, Beast 9, you're not going to do it because it's fire. Uh, Beast 8, it should work on because it's water. Um, this is Earth. Here we go. I don't need. I probably could do it with the team. I haven't tried it with the uh, Super Shot on 8 because I was using the Cleanser, but let's try it. I'm better to work. I won't even target. Even though I should target the middle ones first, I won't. I will just do this full auto. <clears throat> and they're not even using their... They only used one of them so far. There we go. There we go. Look how quick. 30 seconds. We're dropping waves. Swarm, come on. There we go. Get the second one down. I mean, it clears so quick. Look at health just boom, dropping. One minute, three seconds to clear the first two waves. I mean, Super Shot's not really doing anything. She keeps charging her skill and she never gets to attack. Oh, attack down. That does hurt, but my team does not care. Oh, put some diminishes up. Thank you. Like, that's your whole job. That's why you're here. Under two minute clear. Boom. Three started. Piece of cake. Guess it does work without even taking a healer or a cleanse. Um, as you get higher, you probably need to, so I might be able to switch in light hex, maybe. And keep going with DPS if I raise the light hex. But this is just showing you it can be used in PvP, it can be used in PvE. I mean, maybe not for the B10s or Wailing 10s right now, but I bet. Later on, they introduce more diminished people. It could definitely has a place. I look forward to using it for those things. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get it to work in Wailing 9. It shouldn't work in Beast 9 just because it's fire. And Undead is weak to fire. But anywhere else they're not weak to, it should be fine. Um, 
So I'm gonna, after this run, we'll try it and beat eight. You can build a team for both eights, probably. Mm -hmm. Don't block. There we go. Diminish. Man, super shot is a beast. Oh. I need some more effect accuracy on this hex. That is ridiculous. She can't land anything. And that is the problem. Part of the problem with Wailing Nine is she keeps getting resisted. Um, there we go. Oh no. You killed my super shot. Doesn't matter. Under two minutes. Fast, fast, fast runs. Is there any teams that you guys like to see that you love that are out of the ordinary? Um, sell those. Don't need those. I would love to hear about them. Um, definitely try them out. I know most people are just building the standard stuff because it works. And But I like to have fun with these games. That's how I enjoy them. Um, coming up with these things. So let's try Peace 8 real quick. Same team should work. Wait, that's a terrible team. Uh, where are my units? Super shot in here. X over here. Crip King is down here somewhere. Gulper. Let's go. Let's go, boys and girl. Oh, I guess it's girls. It's boy and girls. There's only one boy, Crip King. All right. I also used this for uh, Water Dungeon 9 yesterday when I was doing some of that, so I know it'll work for that. Yeah, it worked for Life 9. So it should work for pretty much anything that's not fire or uh, magic. Although, we could try magic 9. We could see, just in case. You can see the diminish. Under, under a minute to clear the waves. Gives you plenty of time on the bosses. Oh man, she's got. I gotta get some more effect accuracy on her. She cannot be missing all those debuffs. That is just... I have an effect accuracy rune on Crip King. Crip King. Maybe I should switch it to Hex, but... Yeah, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Alright, now I'll show my runes. They... Hex has my best attack runes. Attack runes at the moment. Super Shot has my crit rate, crit damage runes, but... Um, did I cancel it? No, I didn't. But There we go. Let's show the runes real quick. Just so you can see what I'm working with. Um, and how well I think this works. And this was, I actually was doing this, she's 5 star right now, I was actually doing this with Hex when she was still only 4 star, because I accidentally awakened her before 5 starring her, because I didn't know you had to for the quest. Um, so she was 4 star awakened doing this, and I was extreme dungeon farming Hex shard, so I can raise her up, and now I'm like 80 short of 6 star, so. Uh, Skylanders, da, 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 da. here's Hex, let's see, 9,000 attack, a little over 8,000 HP, 1,700 defense. She's got better runes. I mean, she's got six-star runes around her, except for that one, because I wanted to keep the fatal set, because um, diminished scales with straight attack. So here's my super shot, only 5,200 uh, attack, 1,700 defense, 9,400 HP, but she got 78 crit rate, which is low, 220 crit damage. She's running on some six-stars, or mostly six-stars, it looks like. Oh, all six-stars, haha. <laughs> They're just not all powered up. I need more to get her get her closer to plus five. And then Crypt King. Where is that boy? Here he is. Power him up. But I'm going for Awakening next. Um, just to get that mana return. So he's got 6,600 attack, 6,300 HP, 1,500 defense. Not that great. He's on... Oh, that's a six star. But those are flat. Six. He's got a five star effect accuracy. Six star, six star. Six star plus 12. So mostly six star runes on all of them. Um, they're not all powered up, but you can see if you're farming the W8s, you can do probably do this without it. It might not be as fast with lower star runes, but if you've got those runes, double diminish is quick for clearing almost anything in this game. Oh, we want to try it on uh, magic real quick, just to see. I, oh, see, I don't even have it three starred. So this will be a really good test. Magic, 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 magic. Where is Grip King? Not using Lamp Shell, we're Super Shot. And let's go with Gulper. Let's see how well this does. Can we three star this? I will semi, semi manual this. Just because we want to try and make sure we get this. Oh. You just rotate, rotate diminish abilities. 
So what we're trying to do here with the AOE, still around 30 seconds for the first wave. This is this is they're weak to this damage or weak to this dungeon. No, no, middle guy, middle guy. We'll just chunk them down. Yes, when we're landing the diminishes, you can see how quickly everything is dying. Around a minute to clear the first two waves on a dungeon they are weak against. This is ridiculous. It's too good. Don't nerf it, but it's too good. <laughs> oh, resisted. Of course you were, Hex. That's what you're good at. Uh, get, gotta find, gotta find a six star effect accuracy rune for her, cause yeah, I can't, ha I can't keep having that. Come on. Come on, can't afford to let him keep going. No, no, that's gonna ruin it. Well, if she landed her diminishes, I might have been able to do that. Oh, see, she stopped again. No, I wasn't really paying attention to the boss like I should have been. Still, a two minute run. Uh, if she landed her diminishes, I could have three starred that. So, that is a dungeon they're weak against, and it still worked two minutes. Um, it took a little more damage than I hoped, but. It's no healers, nothing. So it can definitely be done. You may be able to use it for the fire one too. Um, I have not checked. But that is it for this video on Double Diminish. Like I said, it is my favorite thing in this game right now. I'm having so much fun. It's used for all of my content um, to clear things quickly. And I hope you guys have a team that you enjoy as much as I enjoy this one. Leave a comment if you do down below. I'd love to talk about what you guys are using other than the standard. But that's it for this episode, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Mushbeard. I am out.